This is all. I don't know how much we're even going to see. Solid stuff. Yeah, no, that's good. What does that, what does that come up? Okay, when you're ready. And lights. No lights. No, 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 it's a normal dash. Do one more for me. Couple of revs for me, chap. Beautiful. And as we can see, front of lens there, no lights. Beautiful. Right, so here we are in the first eye video in the 1991 Bentley 8 wafting along as you'd expect because it's exactly what you do in the Bentley. Um, yeah, if you give us feedback on how the car drives and feels and all that great stuff, that'd be yeah, wonderful. Um, it's, um, I've really enjoyed owning this car, um, which I've had for a few years now and I used to drive it regularly and um, it's one of the last sort of British Bentleys in a way before all the computers came in and they brought by um, you know, I have a BMW, and um, yeah, it's, it's lovely. It's a, it's a sense of sort of, it's almost a bit like going back in time a little bit. And um, it's, it's, it's a beautiful car. It's, it's, it's the Bentley 8, so it's a non-turbo, and it was introduced as a sort of more straightforward car in a way. But there's not so many Bentley 8s around. Um, it's, it's not so much of a, uh, of a common car. There's lots of turbo versions of it. Um, and I part exchanged it for a 911, and I've always liked these cars. And it, it had been taken to, it was owned by GP in Guildford, and he was taking it to the Rolls Royce Bentley dealer every year, and so it was immaculate. And, um, you know, it's a wonderful car, but I, you know, I just don't have time to drive it now. Basically, I put it in the show in Folkestone on a regular basis, which is always good fun in the Rolls Royce Bentley uh, club there. And, um, you know, that's great fun, but I just don't have time to drive. I used to drive it regularly, now I just don't have time to drive it. So therefore, you know, I, I need to really sell it. And hopefully, you know, again, somebody who is an enthusiast, who will look after the car and enjoy it, you know that would that would be absolutely great, but it's so smooth. I mean, you can tell it's you know, that 6.75 eight-cylinder engine. You know, it just sort of hovers along. Nothing's too much trouble. You know, uh, you know, it's not a sports car, but it's it's basically yeah, it's a lovely car for just driving around. I mean, you used to drive it in the city, but it's really for as a, as a sort of more of a tourer, I suppose. Um, but yeah, and you can hear the engine, I don't know if you can hear it, it's just sort of ticked away there. And uh, yeah, it's lovely. How's the uh, the braking and the suspension? Yeah, it's, it's all, all fine. I think this, this is the Bentley 8, they made the suspension slightly stiffer than the others, which again I think is good. It doesn't quite roll around like like some of those old Bentleys do. A little bit stiffer, which is fine. Yeah, perfect for literally just cruising yeah, in. Nice, yes. Still, the aircon still works. You can still waft in it as well, can't you? Yeah, yeah, which is the ideal. Yeah, it's 
lovely. And I, I can just, just take you along the front here. Cool. Brilliant. Thank you for that.